Hello and welcome to this Advent Tarot series. It's the 24th of December, one more day to go. And the card for today is the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands shows this rather exhausted and injured and battered looking man and he's resting on a wand and he's got these other eight wands standing up behind him and he really looks like he's had a few battles and uh maybe faced quite a few hardships or challenges lately and he's just taking time to rest and regroup because he knows that it's not over yet he's got maybe another battle to do or or you know still um further challenges ahead but he's still full of hope and he's determined to get to where he needs to get to. So he's getting ready for that one last push and he's really prepared to do what it takes. So it's a test of his endurance, of his resilience, of his character, and he's having to stand strong in the face of adversity with real hopeful determination to succeed. He really wants to break through these obstacles, even when all of these current life difficulties and problems are threatening his balance. So if this card speaks to you, it could mean that you've been through the mill somewhat recently. Maybe you've got a bit battered and bruised. Maybe you've even started to take steps forward again to where you wanted to get to, only to have another setback or get knocked back in some way. So the message from this card then is to accept these experiences as part of a strengthening process. With every setback, you are accessing more and more inner resources to come back stronger. Fighting for what you want helps you build your resilience and it helps you be, to become better able to cope with anything that life throws at you. In this situation and for the future, it's always going to serve you how you grow through this, how it strengthens you. And things that you once thought impossible will soon seem far, far less daunting. So your grit and resolve are deepening. So don't give up. Even if you want to, don't let go of your dreams. It's like the story of the man digging for diamonds who gives up just inches before he hits the payload. You know, there's a, a meme going around on social media that shows him dejectedly walking away and then this big cavern of diamonds just, just inches away. If, he, if he'd only just carried on, he would have broken through. So that's what this card stands for as well. So just keep going. Keep going for what you really want to do because, you know, you never know how close you are to receiving all that you've worked so hard for. And if you keep going, you will prosper. You're so close to the finish line. One last message of the Nine of Wands is to establish some clear boundaries. While you're working hard towards your goals or, you know, and you're pushing through this, this last little bit to get to where you want to get to, you need to protect your energy. You need to use this energy for yourself. So watch out for potential energy leaks or situations and people that might deplete your energy. Watch out for energy vampires around you. Make a plan and get clear on what you need to achieve your outcome that you desire. Communicate those needs to, to the other people around you so that you can make sure that it gets done and then work the plan. But don't be so rigid and so kind of cut off from other people that you miss out on extensions of care or love or support that might come from others because that might help you through that that last hurdle that you're uh, working towards at the moment and you'll reach your goals that little bit faster with a bit more ease so if that message resonates for you today let me know in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you here tomorrow for our final message bye for now